called Unhappy Ever After. Little Red Riding Hood was scared, real scared. Undercover agents Little Pig number one, two and three had already had their covers blown and now it was up to her on her own to bring the bacon home. She gulped and swallowed the microfilm. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? She whistled to herself more for comfort than for anything else. But she was afraid and with good cause because Granny being a good double agent turned her in and Little Miss Riding Hood was never seen again. The wolf in a secret lair ran a diamond encrusted hand through his silver hair and grinned. He poured over the recovered microfilm. Mmm, tasty, very, very tasty. His one gold tooth glinting, glinting, gleaming in the gloom. <laughs> this is called as simple as that. Jack and Jill had both been killed. Shit happens when you're double agents. They didn't have time to take their cyanide pills and were cruelly tortured until they told all they had to tell. Living was hell. They were glad to be dead. A president in a far off country fell and the government tumbled after. Jack and Jill ceased to exist, totally disowned by either side. It was as if they had never been alive. Still, their remains were returned in vinegar and brown paper. Someone had got the message, someone had not. Good guys, bad guys, it's not as simple as that. <laughs> this is called Things Are Never As They Seem. Cinderella was having a ball. She was on a roll, couldn't do anything wrong at all. Wicked, just wicked sister, she smiled to her secret self as the camera in her stiletto heel snapped, click, click, click. She was so cool, she was quick, she was slick. Yes, the prince's blueprints. It doesn't get better than this. A light switch said, click. A gun said, click. Cinderella said, shit. <laughs> how charming, said the prince. And how utterly alarming. And you really thought that you could get away with this. I'll have that camera shoe, thank you. And now I'm going to shoot you. Toodaloo. Her head exploded like a pumpkin hollowed out for, for Halloween. I'm frightfully sorry to be betrayed by someone I've just laid. You would have made an excellent queen, but things are never as they seem. <laughs> Cover up. Humpty Dumpty was pushed. All the king's horses and all the king's men made sure Humpty didn't dump them in it again. The stupid little grass was a good egg gone bad. Got what he deserved. Exactly. No longer would he spill the beans, spill his guts instead. Crying in the rain on a cold, wet zebra crossing looking at the man in the moon, the last thing he would ever see, and gasping. The dish ran away with the spoon. The dish ran away with the spoon. Whatever did it mean, remains to be seen. Remains to be seen. That was Donald Dempsey.